tonight's presentation, we're going to continue our look into geometry. And more specifically tonight, we're going to look at angles. In four different types of angles, we have right, acute, obtuse, and straight angles. Now, right angles, I kind of consider to be a benchmark angle um, because you really determine acute or obtuse based on 90 degrees. And let's take a look at what 90 degrees means. Well, right angles measure exactly 90 degrees. So there's no changing that. That's exactly what they are. So we use a protractor to measure angles and also draw angles. So in this case, I'm going to make an angle that measures 90 degrees. So if you look at this lighter blue baseline, it starts here. It's actually a ray. And it has an endpoint here and extends infinitely in this direction. And you can see it passes through the zero line on the protractor. And then the angle itself opens up. So it starts at zero and opens up all the way up to 90 degrees. So the second ray, starting at the same endpoint, extends upward infinitely, and it passes through 90 degrees. And that makes it a 90 degree angle. A lot of people call these angles with square corners. Let me just move this out of the view for a second. And um, there's usually a symbol that we use in there. Now, this one doesn't show it. So what I'm going to do is make my own square in there, if I can plot it correctly. OK. Now, a lot of times with a 90 degree angle, you'll see a little square drawn in the corner. And that's to show you that it is a 90 degree angle. and um, it does make square corners. A good test is if you have a, you know, if you have a paper, you have a sheet of paper. Look at the corner. The outer edge of the paper is a 90 degree angle. Uh, if you take a look at a rectangle, and you measured the angles of a rectangle, you would see. If you line up this baseline here with the bottom of this rectangle and the vertex of this angle where these two line segments intersect right here, you'll be able to measure this angle. So again, the baseline is down here and the angle opens up and you can see I've lined it up. So this side of the rectangle opens up and, and the ray passes, or actually this is a line segment. But if you imagine it extending outward, it passes through 90 degrees. And there you have a 90 degree angle as well. So, all right. So you've got this rectangle, and it also has square corners. So you draw that little symbol to represent 90 degree angles. Now, these are just rough drawings of the, the square corner symbol. should be sharper than that. So there you go. So right angles measure exactly 90 degrees. Now leads us into our next type of angle, which are acute angles. And acute angles measure at less than 90 degrees. So if we take a look at our protractor and we decide to make an angle. We've got, OK, the baseline of the angle starting here and extending this way. So it passes through 0. And we're going to make, whoops, I changed my pen. Um, so now we can extend this, or open up the angle, I should say. Open up the angle. Now we can't go to 90 degrees. That would be a right angle. So anything between 0, not including 0, greater than 0 and less than 90 degrees would be an acute angle. So if we just pick one, I'll just let it fall right there. 
and we'll see what that would be. It starts at zero, extends upward. It's about it's about well 10, 20, not 30, between 20 and 30, about 25 degrees. Let's see how close we are. Yep, 25 degrees. So that would be acute angle, and it really is something you could say to yourself to help you remember what an acute angle is. It's a cute little angle. Oh, look at the cute little angle. It's so cute there. It's it's small and cute. Small meaning you know less than 90 degrees. So that's what makes it so cute. Now let's make another one. Like I said, I mean, it could look very similar to it. A lot of times you'll be given the task to measure an angle. And it looks at first glance like it's the right angle, but it's not. That's why you have to use this tool to measure it out. See, a 90 degree angle would extend up there. You can see they don't match up. So that angle we drew had a baseline down here and extended up to 88. All right. Let's move this out of the way. So these are both examples of acute little angles. They are less than 90 degrees. Acute angles, less than 90 degrees. Now we'll move on to a different type of angle. Now these are obtuse angles that we're going to be looking at, at this page, on this page. And obtuse angles measure more than 90 degrees. 90, yet less than 180 degrees. So I think the best way to show you that is to bring out our protractor again. And we'll set it up so we can draw an angle that is more than 90, yet less than 180 degrees. All right, so I'm going to get, you have my baseline over here still. I mean, technically, you could have, you can have an angle that opens up this way from this end, um, but we'll not deal with that at this point. So I'm going to make a, an angle, and you can see up over in here, the degrees of my angle opening increases as it moves away from that baseline down there, starts at zero, moves up and increases. Now anything in this range, you probably think it would be acute, good for you, and once you hit that, boom, that square corner mark, the 90 degree mark, that would be a right angle. And then if you go between, and that's the range I'm talking about. So let's kind of highlight that area. So anywhere, it can't be 180, but it extends, you know, almost, I mean, it's so, I mean, it's got to be greater than 90, yet less than 180. So it's kind of like that range up in there, just so you can see that. All right. So, whoop, a little crazy with my highlighter pen there. So now it opens. Like I said, it opens from zero all the way past 90, and it could fall anywhere in this range. So I'm just going to let it drop here. We'll see what it is. Now we look at the baseline to measure angles. So it, the baseline ray passes through this zero. So we start at this zero on the inside here. We go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, and now it's not quite 130. So it's past 125. I'd say about 127 degree angle. Let's see how close we are. Yeah, all right. So there we got it. So this would be an obtuse angle. It opens greater than 90 degrees, <clears throat> but less than 180 degrees. Notice it's not a cute little angle. It's an obtuse one. Um, I've heard people refer to the word ob obese um, just because it's bigger. Um, might not be the most socially appropriate way to describe it. But um, obtuse means greater than 90, yet less than 180 degrees. So we have 127 degrees. Let's make another obtuse angle. I'll slide this down. Okay. All right, so let's see. We'll start from scratch again. We got our baseline. Here's the vertex. Um, and it extends through zero this way. So we'll extend it out. And let's go almost a straight angle here. Okay, oh, I gave you a little hint as to what we're doing next. Okay, well, it can't be 180, but it's it's pretty close. Um, 
if I were to measure it, I would count by tens all the way on the inside, starting at zero, all the way all to 170, yet not to 180. So 170 past 175, 176, 177 is what it would be. And there you go. That would be an obtuse angle. Ooh, didn't mean to rotate that, so let's move that. So now we've got two different examples of obtuse angles. Clearly, they are between 90 and 180 degrees. Let's move on to our last type of angle. We have straight angles, and these measure exactly 180 degrees. So, this should kind of look familiar to you, the protractor by now. So now if we start at zero, we have our, like I said, our baseline ray going that way, and we open up the second ray here, still has that same vertex right there, and we open it up all the way to 180. And if you, you know, link two rays together at a common endpoint right there, you know, if you add, put them together, it appears to be a straight line. And that's why they call it a straight angle, because it measures exactly 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So let's pop one of those out of there so we can see that better. So if you look at that, this arc here kind of represents the opening, how it opens up to 180 degrees. Here's the baseline. It opens up and it's a straight angle. So if you do it 180, as you're walking down the, maybe the hallway and you, you're kind of walking down the hallway and you uh, remember, oh, I forget to forgot to get a snack from the fridge. So you double back and you go back 180 degrees, like in a straight line there. So you went to this point and turned around. <laughs> That's one way to remember it. When you do a 100, 180 degree turn, you start out one direction and you end up going the opposite direction. That's what I was trying to illustrate there. But there it is. So there's straight angles, obtuse angles, acute angles, and right angles. Thanks for checking out Mr. Meredith's EduBlog, and we will see you again next time.